Hello and welcome to Craft with Sarah and another video in my series of making layered paper craft tracks. Today's track is this wonderfully summery tropical design with palm trees, flamingo, a surfboard and all sorts in the back of this track. As with all my layered truck SVGs, this one is completely free to download, so let's find out where to find it. You can download the free cutting file for this project at craftwithsarah.com forward slash free dash SVGs or follow the link in the description of this video to go straight to the download page. The download comes in a zip folder and you need to unzip this before you can upload the files into Cricut Design Space. Once you've downloaded and unzipped the folder, it's time to get the SVG file into Cricut Design Space. Open up Design Space and start a new project and then go to Upload over on the left and then Upload Image. You can then either click Browse to find the files on your computer or drag and drop them in. Make sure you choose the unzipped version of the folder and then the file to select is the one which starts SVG in the file name. I'll click and drag that in and then it should look like this with all of the layers one on top of the other. If yours looks different and you see the pieces separately on the screen, that means you've accidentally uploaded the wrong file type. So if that's the case, click cancel down here on the bottom right and try again and make sure you choose the one which starts SVG. This is looking good, so I will click upload. And then once it's loaded, click it under your recent uploads to get the green border around the edge and then press add to canvas. You can see all of the pieces down here on the right hand side and there are quite a lot for this tropical track. To resize the design, click on it and make sure the padlock icon at the top of the width and the height box is closed. If yours is open, then click on it to close it. And that means when you resize it, for example, if I go to 9.5 inches, and press enter on the keyboard, the other measurement will change in proportion. So in this case, that height also changed, so everything stays looking beautiful and doesn't end up looking squished or stretched. I'm not gonna do anything else to this. This is exactly how I want to cut it. So I'm gonna just go to make it over here on the top right. This separates everything out into the different colors. You can change the paper size in here, and you will need to do that for every single color. And you can also click and drag to move things about. And I find that this is quite helpful for um, just kind of getting things in a bit of a better order so that they take up less space on your cardstock. Make sure nothing overlaps like this flower's overlapping at the moment, otherwise it won't cut out properly. But just by spending a few seconds moving those things about, that means that the whole bottom of this piece of card will be left empty, which means I can use it for another project another day. When you're happy with how everything is looking in Design Space, click Continue to connect to your Cricut machine and then follow the on-screen instructions to get everything cut out from cardstock. Here are all my layers of the truck cut out and I've led them one on top of the other to check that I'm happy with all the colours and that I haven't missed anything out. To stick it together, I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way upwards. I'll be sticking it together with a combination of glue and foam squares. The glue I use is called Kalau and I put it into these needle tip applicator bottles. The reason I like the glue is because it doesn't bend or wrinkle the cardstock like some glues can do. Here are the foam squares I'm using. These ones are quite small. If you've got larger ones, that should be fine. You just might need to cut them smaller with a pair of scissors. Okay, let's move some of these bits over to the side so that I can start sticking it from the bottom. I'm trying to keep these in the right order. There we go. And then I'm left with these two bottom pieces. For this one, it's up to you if you use glue or foam squares, but I like to give it a bit of dimension, so I use my foam squares. I've got a sheet that I've already started, so I'll carry on with this one. Try and get some little bits of foam into all the sticky out bits, like the palm tree leaves and the head of the flamingo, and around the top of the truck. The more bits you get into those smaller areas, the better stick you'll have. And then I'm going to go around the edge with my foam squares 
adding a good amount on there. Now this isn't quite enough, I also want to put a couple of little bits in these big sections because if there's nothing there it means it might not stay level and you might get your card kind of sagging downwards when um, all the other bits are stuck on top. So a couple of little bits in the middle will stop that from happening. And I'm also just, there's a bit of a gap there. <laughs> Now I can peel the tops off of the foam squares to reveal all the stickiness underneath. There we go. And then I can stick this on top. I'm going to line it up using the palm tree leaves at the top. And then just gently drop it down. And the reason for that would be if I hadn't quite lined it up right, like I haven't quite done on these trees, I can pick it up and move it easily because it's not stuck yet without damaging anything. But that's looking good now so I can push down to get all those frame squares really nicely stuck. I'll start with the front of my truck and for the next piece which is the solid kind of tealy coloured, aqua coloured front. This will be another foam square layer. I use the window this time to line it up. And that's looking good. The detail layer on top will be glued. There. And uh, now I'm going to move on to the back of the truck. And all of these layers are going to be glued because when they're stuck on, it then means this front bit of the truck will just about line up with this one that we added the foam under. So it'll be all nice and flat along there. And if we um, had foam squares on any of this, and that just wouldn't quite work, the back would end up taller than the front, which I think just doesn't quite look as effective as when it's kind of flat. But of course, if you're not worried about that and you'd rather have some extra dimension, then you can absolutely substitute some of these glue layers for foam pads instead. The next bit's just the head of the flamingo because it's making up his eye <laughs> and the beak. a tiny little piece. <laughs> okay, next is the pink. Then we have the um, solid layer for the surfboard, which in my case is red. Then the white bit making that detail on the surfboard. Okay, that one on there. And then the green. And if you're going to use any foam on the base, this would be a good one to foam. Pop out that flower from the rest of the uh, bits in the back. What do you think of this tropical truck? Is it one that you're likely to make? It was uh, requested by a few different people. I would never have thought of it by myself, so I love getting requests because it really pushes me out there to do things that I wouldn't have done otherwise. And if you do like this truck, then check out my website, craftwithsarah.com because I've got over 15 other free layered truck SVGs, all with a different theme. And next is this one. Some of the other themes of the trucks are winter with a Christmas tree in the back, and that's more of a like red retro truck. There's a um, full one with pumpkins, Valentine's Day, Easter, St. Patrick's Day, New Year's Eve, 4th of July, um, 
There's a plain one with nothing in the back for if you want to add your own thing in there. And uh, there's one with flowers in it. <laughs> so yeah, a whole host. There's probably loads more that I'm forgetting too. Then this one's going to be glued as well. And this is going to line up perfectly with my front of the truck. It's just the right amount of layers. If there are any other trucks you'd like to see, drop me a comment on the video. <laughs> okay, next I'm going to do the solid bits over here and these, both the front and the back, I will use my foam squares for, give it a little bit more pop. Make sure you get these bits round the right way because the front one's bigger than the one on the back. See, that one's bigger. There, and then the detail layers on top, the slightly lighter ones with the cutouts, these will be glued. Next, I'm going to glue the flower onto the door to kind of make it look like it's got a pretty little flower painted on there. Put it on at an angle and then the blue one on top. Finally, we have the hubcaps for the tyres and these are the same on the front and the back so it doesn't matter which way around you put them. I'm going to stick the circles on with foam and then the flowers, I can't decide. <laughs> um, I think I might do the, the white of the flower with foam too, but you could glue it, it's completely up to you on this one. If you glue it, it'll look more like it's kind of painted on, you know, like if you were painting your summer track. Whereas this one looks a bit more abstract. Oh, just nudge the glue there. And then finally, the uh, yellow flowers. I'll glue these on. I'm cheating. I'm putting my glue directly on the design. As long as I don't put it in the middle, which is the bit that you'll see of the white, we're all good. One. And two. And there is my very colourful, very summery tropical truck all ready to hit the beach. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And yeah, we're all done with yet another vintage truck. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make this layered tropical truck from cardstock. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more Cricut Crafts and free SVGs. Thank you for watching. Bye.